Hello everybody, my name is Murlock and Lewin, your name is Vero, welcome back to part 3, same day, same shirt, and we are going to go talk to the dwarf over here about our friend Sam. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim, third one was downtown. I guess the classics never go out of style. He sighs. Not my title, that's what the Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle it handle a scalpel. Still can't talk, however. This one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. And? Watt's liver was cleanly cut out. How about the other lucky contestants? First victim's heart was missing, third had the spleen removed. Red's dead, get out here. I'm here about the new Ripper Vic, Sam wants. Oh wait, wait. What's this? I didn't notice this. I got a med kit. Sam's body's half covered by a stale surgical sheet, his face in ashen white. For the first time without a smirk on it, below the chest there's a small pencil, thin incision covered in dried blood. Beyond that the corpse is immaculate. It seems the killer knew exactly what they wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found in his body. You can examine the evidence through the bag without spoiling it. The business card. Moving things around, you can see it's a card from a place called the Seamstress's Union. There's a something handwritten on the back of blood has made a life. Unreadable! I can't say that word. Look at the credit stick. It's standard cheap, unsecured credit stick. No, bleh, no way of knowing what's on it without slotting it. Oh, we can take it. Or do we want to steal evidence? <sighs> I'm glad I noticed this this time. Now I have some stuff to do. Okay, well, if I was playing Shadowrun for realsies, and it was just me in here, none of my teammates had any say in whether I took this cred stick or not, I think I would take it. But I would have to think about it real hard, because... Missing evidence could be a problem in the future. But I am a street samurai this playthrough, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shoot first, ask questions later sort of archetype. So let's take it. 300 new yen is added to your account. Cool. It's a purple shirt. Sam shirt. Several of the buttons are missing and blood has thoroughly soaked it. The bag sloshes a bit in your hand. Ooh, grody. Look at the handwritten note. You can only see part of the note, given the torn off bits and bloodstains. Sam, I feel that we arg. We have been long to say I'm sore. See you there. Love, Jessica. Put down if it's bad. Alrighty. Let's talk to McCluskey. Oh, uh, I made a mistake. I, I said I'd put body four in my karma. I meant strength four, and I did that kind of meta gamey because I just I want to know what the I want to know what happens if I have it. Okay, I just wanted to know. That's why. That's why. You'll see what I mean if you don't already know. Towering over the dim diminutive coroner is a homicide detective right out of central casting. If you ignore the tusk, pointed ears, Neanderthal brow, you know, orc stuff, you can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. So this new River Vic wants name familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? Coroner frowns. So you insisted at the time. Interesting. He showed us. Come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now let's go, Dresden. Give you something to work with here. The ripper case might take it to a lieutenant's badge. I've already pushed everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ from the magic. While they're still alive, the perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel, has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. So I'm looking for a white dot surgeon. Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer-controlled lasers. Could be anyone from military field surgeon to antique medicine aficionado. I like how I can say aficionado with no problem, but I can't say ineligible. You're no damn help, dwarf. The Lone Star Detective finally notices you. You notice superhuman powers of observation. Who the hell are you? None of your business, Lumpy. His face contorts in a hideous star. You funny elf. 
Maybe we'll find another time to do a little dance with you and me. Oh, did I just make him my enemy? He might have been friendly, but he kind of seems like a dick. But Sam I thought was a dick too, and by the end I ended up loving him. Now I'm sad he's gone. Oh well. Dresden, give me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Bye bye. Dresden looks amused. Do you always make friends that easy? I'm great at dinner parties too. He didn't really seem like Ah, I'm gonna go. I'm great at dinner parties too. Cox is head to one side. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? Sam was there when I needed him. I'm going to return a favor. This seems different. Maybe I'm just... I don't know. Maybe I'm just forgetting bits. It's all those drugs I take. Not really. No, no, no. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. And I don't do drugs either. It's just a joke. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He'd convict his own mother if it meant another ten million a week on his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take, dressed in considering. You have honor after fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. Aw, he's, he's a good dude. I like Dresden. Plusky's an ass. What can I do to help him? On the take? Who's been cold sleep? What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? The official for I can't say official, but I can say aficionado. They're so close, though. The official report is that she committed suicide about a year ago. Aren't you the official in that sentence? My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it wasn't suicide, but there were unusual bruises on her upper arm that she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. Alright, who's paying to hold his leash? I don't know, but someone with major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career. And wallet. What are organs worth these days? I don't think he's taking organs to sell them because he's only taking one. Whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of new, but individual organs? Not worth as much anymore with the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days. Organ grinders only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky though, and they don't care where bodies come from either. We still use the scalpels. Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. The seamstresses union? It's a nearby club in the Barrens that attracts lowlifes. You'd probably like... Oh, I thought we were friends, dude. Why you gotta be like that? Me, I'm not really the going out type. Always too much to be done around here, plus the dead are just easier to get on. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Hey, I got karma. Dresden looks up at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around these body locks in the back and see if you find anything useful? Uh, okay, I'll go do that. Weird. Oh, does he have, like, the murder weapon and he didn't give it to McCluskey or something? Cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Open the drawer. Cold storage drawer opens to reveal a fully clothed body of a man, arms fully across the chest, in addition to supporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen. The body seems to be in very good condition. Jake Armitage. Whoa, easy the what? Who the hell? One quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you, but he's already standing. For someone who just woke up in a morgue lock, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peeking out. An interesting combination indeed. I never really got into magic in the real Z Shadowrun game, but looks like he's got some cyberware. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? It doesn't feel like 6 yet. Sorry, I didn't expect you to be so alive. Yeah, Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this one on. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, what's your story? I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts' corner. So you think you can help me out? Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and again. 
now and then over at the Union. Us two. Back forever ago. Decent enough guy, always in trouble over something or another, though. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John, is this guy cool? Yeah, he's on the level working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. I thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop him opening around the shaft all day. Thanks for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell when. Blech. Behind those shades. I... I cannot do the talks. The talks escape me. Alright, then. The name's Jake. And you are... Well, nice to meet you. Or, nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night. The night of the murder, poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstress's union that yet. Night, tripped out, and rowdy, Evan. Laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Okay, so you are a shadow runner, not just some dude. Miss Kubota asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alley, some gangsters got the jump on. He went and says, damn, maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are dirty anyway. Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound as Tristan continues his work. Howdy. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat core bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangsters thought they could turn quick profit off my head. Halloweeners are awesome. Jake smiles, and you get the impression that he didn't work out, that it didn't work out so well for the gangsters. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw him until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last day in this place. You've done this before? It's a long story. I end up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake here is a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits, and you get a free night's stay. Ha <laughs> ha. Jake laughs. He thought it was funny, too. They'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union, missing liver and all. Tell you what, you look like you could handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to sell score with those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the barracks for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place where Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets alone at night. Trust me, Jake eyes you up and down. Maybe I'll throw some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? I like to do a bit of street justice every now and then, Jake. Count me in. Sorry, I'm reading all these and then picking the option I go, and I'm only going to read that one, so that's why I pause there all the time. Great. I've been hiding out here ever since that run-in with those Halloweeners. One bunch of gangsters, but this stretch of the Barrens is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it to this Morgan One Piece without packing some heat. He yells over sure they're very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So you need a weapon? Oh. I kind of want to say melee is my game because I want to be street hammer, but I don't know if he's going to make me, like, punch people. Shotgun, I did take a point in because it seems like a good thing to have, but I'm going to try melee and see what happens. Got here's a baseball bat. I can, I can work with that, but you look like you can handle yourself. So, ready for an evening out in the town? Just a minute, tell me more about these gangsters first. There we go. Well, they're one of the nastier gangs in town. Their symbol is a flaming jack-o'-lantern, but you wouldn't like their version of trick-or-treating very much. Around here, they're led by a troll named John Paul. Really? He's got all the Halloweeners and Barons looking for me. We take him out, maybe I can breathe a bit easier. Alrighty. I'm ready. Follow your lead. The Halloweeners aren't looking we can leave whenever you are ready. All right. Well, that was another action-packed and exciting episode, but I got to cut it here. Um, we'll continue recording, however. I will do episode four. We'll get some damn combat in eventually again. Uh, part of the problem, though, is there, there might not be whole lots of combat. Eh, but I like the combat so far. It seemed interesting. But, anyways, till next time. Don't forget, do not forget, that little subscribe button right down there. Because it is 100% free and it proves that you can click a button. And you don't want people to think you can't click buttons. That's embarrassing.